That was sticking yeah. around. Are you doing this right now? <laughs> Do you know Kurt? I know Kurt. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kurt's doing it, okay. <laughs> The cards in my hands when the right time lands Collect my thoughts and band it all together to one unbreakable tether That'll sever all the devils no matter the level do To an impeccable rebel writing calligraphy Stirring up trouble from the drop of a verse Frequency waves burst in rumble space and time Crumble societies begin to tumble Speechless from my effects everyone's left mumbled From my consciousness consistently compositing Compositions of consistentness of a life of an individual Dependent on spending what's left of this time rendering track Suspend in my body and soul in heaven Quick, someone call a reverend A revival of this beat needs to be amended Didn't mean to kill it, wasn't ever my intended Intention to flow with words So therapeutic to my soul Found in the vastness of space Brought it back to my place An extension of myself Taken to a higher plateau Possessing poetic potency Painting me into a scenery Derived from my mind's eye Yeah! yeah. Woo! Hey. Yeah. Cool, man. Thanks for saying that. I know I I get stage fright, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, me too. Come on. I know, I, I know this is probably not what you're expecting, but if I were to compare you to a rapper, do you know who Lord Infamous is? Uh, sounds familiar. He was from the original 3 6 Mafia. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> and he's like, Lord Infamous, the motherfucking scarecrow. And he has like this syncopated thing that honestly, yeah. like Bone Thugs and Harmony and a lot of those guys kind of took. Like all this Migos shit, every time with the Migos flow. <laughs> Lord Infamous did that like 20 years before, but like, it kind of reminds me of that. I don't know if that um, he died, so don't do that. But, okay. <laughs> no, that was the greatest cool. always died. <laughs> Except some you. of them, I mean, some shitty people died I mean, too. You know, we get even out. We, you know, <laughs> like, you I, I mean, didn't you have like a Soldier Slim <laughs> record. You, you know? learn from the best, though. That's why. I, I mean, recognizing who's the best is fucking. Yeah, yeah bad, exactly. Like, I mean, most people don't. You have recognize the, the struggle they had and what? you changed. I mean, because I know you went through the same shit he did. Who? Idea. Um. To a certain. I don't know. I I wouldn't ever assume. That I know what someone else's experience was, you know. I definitely I mean, like related to him. I know with addiction and things, and I know that um, we had conversations where I, I related to him. And, yeah, but it's not like you're his prodigy or anything. No, no, yeah. not, I, no you're not his prodigy. That's a weird title too. Yeah. You like, were if, great. If he didn't have any prodigy, if no, he didn't yeah. have a prodigy. It was Kristoff. I thought. No, but by far, by like far. you were great before you met him. You you came out bouncing act and then you met him. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I, when I, mean, I heard the album, like literally, that's I was the thing. Like, some this people uh, right here is a great some people are like you know they they think I started rapping after a new idea or something. Yes. It's like I already had I mean, something. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, I mean, if anybody were his protege, or protege is definitely a protege. Yeah. 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 Christoph, Christoph, yeah. Christoph doesn't really. I mean, he's a great. I'll rapper, tell you this. So. Idea, um, so it's on YouTube, I'm sure. Um, he was gonna make, he wanted to, to make Crush Kill like his own thing yeah. before he passed away, obviously. And he was like, he, he was like, he called me and he goes, I want it to be Kristoff, me, educated consumers, this group called Alpha Consumer out of Minnesota, this rock group, the Jeremy Owens Locker. Yeah. Um, he would say shit like, he's like, you know, I know you could do like, 10,000, something like that. You know, you already do like pretty good numbers. I know you could do that. Christoph Crane, though, I know if he had the right promo, he could do like 100,000. And I'd just I be like, know. I'd just be like, damn, yeah. I don't know. But in my head, but it, I was like, that's kind of amazing that you yeah. fucking like. Yeah, I mean, he would, I tell, he would tell me, she's like, Christoph, I'm gonna grant it. He's gonna grant it. I'd be like, what are you talking about? But I, I kind of get it. Like, I knew where it's coming from, but like, honestly, I don't believe that. Like, well, I think I mean, I think it's, it's got it twisted. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's true. What about yeah. your favorite piece? Yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, like I believe you said that, but like that's I, not, I mean, none of them have like. What titles. about like? Face candy's like I one mean, big experience. Yes. Like it's um. I feel spoiled because I gotta like have my own face candy right. moments, you know, yeah. but like. Where I would just pathetically try to keep up. Kristoff is like, he's a ridiculous, ridiculous freestyle. Yeah, yeah. I, I would see Idea look at him like, oh shit. Like, yeah. you have those moments being like, whoa, you killed it. And I like, mean, when it comes to freestyle, and when, when it comes to writing, it's a totally they're different. Dif thing. They're different, obviously, but the, the difference is editing. 
writing yeah. is freestyling. That's why people freestyle, right, yeah. freestyle. I'm like, yeah, I'll do that in my fucking house. Yeah. And then I'll throw away the shit that's yeah. not hot, and I'll yeah. keep the one percent of it that's cool. Because yeah. that's what writing is. You're just like, oh, here's a thought, here's a thought. And like most of it, you just throw away. Yeah, it's dog exactly. Shit. Most of your thoughts, yeah, yeah. most of my thoughts. Um, <laughs> But that's what freestyling is. So it's like, it's just a weird concept. Like in a way it's amazing. Like I, I didn't respect it heavily. I used to battle and all that, but I, ne I always saw it as more like a gimmick or like a skill yeah. flex or whatever until I knew Idea and Kristoff. And, and then I started seeing it more as an art and being like, that's seeing, awesome. seeing the beauty of like improvisation and like, and why in a way when you don't edit it and you don't have that filter, it's like super honest, yeah, you know? Yeah. Um, but at the same time, it's like, Sometimes it's almost like freestyle. Yeah, it's like it's like what I could do that if I was like a monkey in a hat. Shit. <laughs> it's like I could do it, but it's definitely just a shittier version yeah. of what I write. No matter what, I'm yeah. never gonna freestyle a hotter verse than I write yeah. ever. And so it'd be like running to a painter and be like, sketch something. You got 30 seconds. And like, oh, like it's pretty good, right? And it's like, yeah, but your painting's way better. And you're like, no shit, I spent two months on it. Yeah. Um, that's kind of that. I'm the same way too. Like, yeah. I'm supposed to like freestyle. It's like, eh, hey, I will, but. Uh, and the other thing about freestyling is back. it's like this weird um, dick measuring contest. Where yeah, it's, it's ego. Certain people it's come ego, to a yeah. show and they'll yeah. be like, yeah, he's alright, but you know, I'm the shit because my six yeah. friends told me I'm real dope. Yeah. And so they're like, we battle in the parking lot yeah. so I could like try to one up you or do some yeah. weird shit. It's all ego It's like, it's like, like that's I'm not going like, to sign up for like, that. Honestly, that's what I like about Idea because he went from like battle raps to like. Like real fucking like deep shit. Thoughtful. Like he just introspective. It was like, like it was like very uh, crazy. very fucking like wide. Like yeah, his whole genre rapper, is wide. Man, he could do it all. Yeah, he cool. could do it all. Yeah, I mean he he had the full. Yeah. His toolbox was overflowing. Yeah. You know, he had all the fucking skills. It was so. too good. Yeah. Um, it, it, I mean it's just cool fucking. Yeah. I'm like, Make that's noise for idea. Honestly, and everybody like, fucking honestly it. idea was idea and atmosphere are the ones that got me into rap. Like before, I was into punk rock and shit. And then yeah, yeah. I heard atmosphere and then I heard idea off of like you know branch off of atmosphere and her idea and I was like, oh, this motherfucker right here is good. And then that got me into hip hop. And then like it inspired me to yeah. write my own shit. So you know, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Really, yeah. I mean, that's a. Yeah. I mean, with all this it's a common story. You know, there are a lot yeah, of people who are is, like, I don't like is. this shit. And then they go, whoa, this path is kind of interesting, and you it just kind of like peek down and find all the stuff you like, you know? Um, Walk down the rabbit hole. Find yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. yeah. Is to be in love like a traditional love song? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I know people keep wanting to like make it about drugs or something else. Are you sure? Like, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the subconscious is a powerful thing, I don't know. I'm pretty sure. I wrote that song very quickly. Yeah. Dude, thanks for sharing that, bro. Yeah, Kurt? Yeah. Well, it's going to be hard to find on Twitter, but thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Thanks for coming. Yeah, try to save guys. Um, yeah, I wrote that one relatively super.